Hello Navigator, welcome to second part of Netflix management. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Now we are on Naptex display to show you how we can setting our Naptex in a proficient manner. First you can see the position, position here and date and time. So if this GPS position fade is available, Naptex will automatically sense the nav area. Now I am going to show you the setting of your Naptex. How can you set your Naptex in a proficient manner? So let's go to menu and there are some settings you can see number one to number six number one is receiving station number two message type number three display setting number four naptex some other settings inside and number five maintenance number six language setting. let me explain from the beginning so first is naptex receiving station setting receive mode rx mode receive mode you can keep it auto or you can keep it manual if you keep it auto it will receive all the messages from this nav area as per position if it covers with the coverage of the stations it will receive that message and if you keep it manual mode that means whichever stations you will select only from those selected stations your netflix will receive messages so as per your preference you can keep I would like to prefer to keep it uh, in manual mode. Now let's get back to second one. Second one is operating frequency. Operating frequency you can change as per your requirement as well. Rx1 and Rx2 and also there is Rx3. Rx1 indicates the international 518 kHz. Rx2 is local language 490 and the Rx3 that is 4209.5 whenever there is a issue with the receiving frequency of uh, rx1 or rx2 that is medium frequency then it you can select for the higher frequency that is 4209.5 and if you want to change you can change from here up and down rx1 rx2 rx3 rx1 rx3 rx1 rx2 rx1 rx2 rx3 so i prefer rx1 and rx2 that is in english language and that rx2 indicates local language that is 490 kilohertz so the next one auto mode setting if you select here auto then you have set your auto mode setting here under number three as we are on manual mode now we will show you the manual mode setting go to manual mode setting and these are the stations we have selected now c f u and x as you can see uh, we are going to receive message only from these stations as we have selected these stations under manual mode and you can see rx1 is 518 kilohertz here written so you are going to receive also rx2 as because under setting you have selected rx1 and rx2 so number four we have completed and there are no more we are getting back with the clear button now i would like to show you message type setting so if you go to message type setting in message type setting we have selected all messages here message type setting indicates that you are going to receive all this type of messages and for your information this doesn't indicate that it all these messages will print out if you want any of this message to be print out then you have to set it in the another setting so as i told you message type setting indicates all these type of messages you are going to receive in this naptex so next one is display setting display setting is very regular setting like contrast dreamer buzzer and uh, local time buzzer for your information buzzer always should be on if you keep it off that means you will not be notified whenever you will be receiving a message in your naptex so next one is number four naptex setting here there are few regular settings like character size and character character display setting message scroll message speed these are not important at all printer property you can set as per your requirement but the number six as you can see ins message output setting this is very important also this number seven print message output setting these two are very important for us so ins message output setting let's get into it you can see station setting first and then message type 
select message type setting first one is station and then message type so here all stations and all message type are selected so it means message output it will show as output here on your display but it doesn't mean that all these messages will print out for print out print message output setting so print message output setting if you go under the station you can see 518 kilohertz and cf u and x these four stations right now selected so only messages from this cf u and x will print out as per our setting right now and also local language is one also 5490 cf u and x the same one under message type you can see a b d e and l as you know a b d l you will never can make it off but additionally we have selected right now e as well for our purposes anyway you can deselect also e let me show you e you can this e if you enter it will deselect but d you never can deselect if i put enter it will not be deselect you can see see no deselect because a b d and l these are mandatory same for l cannot deselect only this type of message we want print out and only these four stations we want to take print out from so it is asking whether i want to save my setting or not let's say we can save setting let's get back maintenance under maintenance under maintenance first one you see self diagnosis this self diagnosis will ensure that your uh, your naptex is working properly or not this you can check uh, every before your departure to ensure that your naptex is working fine then uh, you can check also your naptex alarm status of your naptex you can check from here uh, port monitor you can keep your port list under this and software version you can check from here so that's it let's get back to language number 6 and under language you can see there is right now it is selected to english but you can select some other languages if you want spanish italian portuguese french and english so we prefer to keep it as on english now let me show how you have to manage your messages those you received and take print out as per your setting first one you can see fa52 on 518 kilohertz we received and this is part of bangkok radio and message type uh, was nav warning we got the print out as well of this message so from here let me show you with the enter you can read the message from here as well on the display so this is the message body let us get back and as we as per our setting we have received as print out as well so this is the printed message fa52 you can see this is part of bangkok radio and the message body is down below with the n n n n for n with the ending sign as i told you in the another video so now what you gonna do with the message the interesting part is uh, some of your message will automatically plot by your egdis itself we are using grc egdis and we are going to check whether this fa52 automatically plotted or not so uh, under logbook we can see the naptex messages with the help of filter and i have already selected this is the one so just to show you view naptex and you can see jersey jersey fa52 bangkok radio so this is the same message as you can read it out here very easily you can also read out from from your egdis airborne force exercise by royal thailand 
Thai Navy 0200 to 1000 UTC daily 21st to 22nd June 2021 in radius 3 nautical mile from the position 12 degree 36.31 north 100 degree 56 decimal 24 east as per requirement this is to be plotted on your egg cell if it is near to your passes as it may be concerned for your passes so if you go to edit here in GRC egg disk you will find position here so that means this position is already plotted if you do not find any position here so this is actually the same position here this naptex message already plotted automatically so you don't need to do anything because once you go there you will find the message itself over there as a MSI so let's check it out whether we see this message over there or not we can go directly by position as well let's go directly off center enter position 1236 and 1561056 just roughly to go in that position so somewhere here now we will see roughly we have reached in the same cell and now we can check whether MSI is there or not I can see a MSI here and we can go to other information and check so you see the same information JCZC FA52 the same message displayed here so it means for this message you don't need to take any further action as it is already plotted here let's get back to the position okay now let me show you from where, where you will find the log of this naptex message if you go to main and under main go to logbook and here you have the option to filter under filter you can see various logging setting what you want to keep record of log like at noon it will keep noon position every 10 minutes it will plot position automatically a root alert chart alert and then naptex naptex you cannot remove because this is built-in fixed system and when press if you press event it will keep record auto sail sensors we don't have auto sail sensors but but anyway it, you can remove as well because uh, our vessel doesn't have this auto sail facilities the others also included some other facilities but to view here in the display to view you can select what you want i just selected naptex to show the message easily in this video so others you can keep as well to view that's it this is the log details as per the sequence of time you will find all the logging data here and under event you can you can see which type of log data it is this is time 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 if you go to filter and then just choose naptex others you can take out and then press ok under event it will show as naptex all are naptex now because i have chosen only to view naptex messages so for others also you will see others like noon position or other events under filter you also have you also have other options like for how many days you want to see the records or normally we keep it for seven days so for seven days all the records are now showing here as i filter to naptex only naptex messages are showing now that's how your egg disk is automatically plotting for you but many of them will not plot automatically for them you have to plot manually now let's get back to the printed message and let me tell you how you can easily maintain your printed message for the whole voice and as we have seen this is already plotted we can first of all we can sign and then as we have found it in as 
egg this overlay so eo i indicate egg this overlay already it is available in egg this overlay and if it is uh, out of root you can write out of root if it is uh, within your root you can uh, you can plot and you can write remarks here as well if it is not automatically plotted so i prefer always to keep the record of date 2106 2021 so that's it and to keep the record of which number you have received fa52 this is the log we are maintaining for each nav stations character b1 here is f station f and station name is bangkok it is under nav area 11 and our voice description is from which port to which port and here we have list of hundreds 50 here one page and other 50 in another other 50 in opposite page so as we have received number 52 and b2 is type of message is a and we have o w action so o w action is egg this overlay it is already over there i showed you in the egg this and you can write noted and your signature here date and time if you prefer to keep date and time for cancellation some of the message has already uh, included the time of cancellation like here also we have cancellation time cancel this message 22 11 or cancel this message on 22 11 o'clock you can keep the record here as well 1100 on 22 zone Finally, keep your message here. End of the voice, you can file this message in your NAPTEX file. Some other message that we received earlier. So that's it. Problem. This is how you can manage each station message throughout the voice. And end of the voice, you can file all these messages in your NAPTEX file as per your company procedure. And let me tell you one more thing that which display you can prefer to keep there are as I told you there are few display like display one display is like this another one is message another one is station wise detail uh, I believe this one is helpful because here you can see the station name uh, last message we received from this station and also the message number xa17 message type nav warnings so this is how you can check all your messages directly from here and if you if you do not get automatic printout for some reason of your nap uh, naptex printer you can take the printout manually as well go to the message enter by in by pressing enter and then press this stir and you will find this print out option here so if you print out option if you press ok uh, i mean if you press enter then a pop-up message will come if you go to press ok it will make a printout for you print out are you sure ok You can see the printed message now so this is how you can manage your message anytime you want you will i hope you will carefully watch the other video as well so both of them will cover whole naptex management on board thank you so much for watching see you in next video